Hello and welcome back to Planet Stronghold Colonial Defense. Or a product of Heatstroke. Maybe both. <clears throat> Getting back on target. Lola's information was accurate, Diana. Of course. To report false information would be a waste of everybody's time. How serious is it? There were numerous attacks on other colonies. Not just Alpha Centauri. Even more troubling is foreign emissions were found on the edge of the Sol system. Does anyone else know of this? My command will be releasing news to the general public soon. So that leaves us truly on our own. Do they know whether our recent troubles were orchestrated from the stars or just coincidental? They honestly don't know. If we could acquire some information on our own, they'll be pleased beyond measure. Are there any other orders? Other than to keep the colony safe? No. I apologise for interrupting, Captains, but another matter has come up. Can it wait, Lucius? We're in the middle of something important. There is a gentleman outside. Caden Vargas, who is the appointed spokesman for a group of concerned citizens. I know Caden. He's a good man to have covering your back. And what does he want? To let you know that some of us are going to go our own way from now on. Greetings, Mr. Vargas. Greetings back to you, Cap. What was that about going your own way? Very simple, really. Me and a few others feel we'd be better suited off on our own. Interesting. I better get this whole thing on film. Maybe we can get an exclusive interview afterwards. You're talking desertion, you know that? Indeed. What you're doing can be construed as treason. Desertion? Treason? Rather strong words, don't you think? Rather think of it as a simple relocation. I was afraid this would happen. Captains, I tried to warn you, morale was very low. Well, admittedly, I didn't expect this to happen. Not to mention, most of the people are civilians like me. Most aren't even directly tied to the military. So unless you decide to declare martial law, they're free to leave if they so choose. What makes you think you could survive on your own? We have a good number of specialists. I'm quite positive of our chances. What about the aliens? To be honest, we figure they'll be focused on you. And our size makes us the biggest target. Yet that still doesn't tell me why you're here, Caden. I think that is obvious. They want something. If I have to guess, I'd say it'd be resources. You have it in one, pretty lady. In the case of, in case the piles of rubble escaped your notice, we aren't exactly in great shape at the moment either. But we would still have resources they lack. Exactly. You help us, we'll help you. And what if we stop you from leaving? Well, you could try to throw us in prison. Oh, well, no, wait, you can't. It was one of the first buildings destroyed by the Matrix. Don't take lightly to threats. I don't know what game you're playing. This is no trick. We're leaving. Whether with your blessing or without. <laughs> or we could put a bullet in your head. No. Not our own people. I know the penalty for desertion, but I still think it's too much. Enough. Mario, we aren't going to massacre our own people. People tend to get touchy about such things. That would make for great ratings. Look, you can say no all you want, but this is going to happen. We can leave our friendly on friendly terms, or else... it would be one way to get rid of our malcontents. Just don't call it Australia, we don't need to start a penal colony. i will split two ways about this. Diana, what's your take? Smart. Negotiating when the main colony is weakened. However, I'd caution you, Caden, since we won't stay vulnerable. Okay, thinking about this in the long term, this is classic short-term loss for potential long-term gain. So I'm going to give them help. R really? <laughs> we won't forget your generosity, I swear it. This just reinforces what I was saying. People decided we couldn't protect them, so they decided to take matters into their own hands. Let's just hope we don't have to rescue them from their own folly, either. Oh, please, we'll almost certainly have to. Mission 7, Destroyed Outpost. No matter how much you prepare yourself, you don't expect something like this to happen. Ultimately, as it was my command, it rests on my shoulders. There's more than enough blame to go round. Would you surprised that I would have loved you to be in the wrong? I don't know. I seem to remember someone saying, I told you so. <laughs> well, I won't deny that charge. However, I took no delight in it. Of course, if we don't get the towers back up, it won't matter. I thought I had seemed the worst, but you take it to a level beyond. Could you at least tell me why? 
wise woman once said distrust is the only defense against betrayal. I know, I've heard it before. <laughs> Sounds like something my Nana would say. Probably because she did. Like when I was a green recruit. Your grandmother was my first commanding officer outside of boot camp. Doesn't that beat it all? <laughs> uh, of course. I wonder what advice she'd give now. Probably look out for the Bora grubs. What? We defeated them. You took down the burrowers. Samuel warned me this might happen. Some Bora grubs carry smaller versions. Consorts, as it were. You took out the big ones, but unless you burn the body, the small ones could skitter away. Hell. If you don't take out the infestation, they just come back. And the size, there must be a cluster of gnarl stones as well. That isn't our only problem. What, did we miss any matrix? Look towards the sky. We have company. And they aren't pigeons. Orbis and their droppings. Much more dangerous. I don't like being spied on. We need to destroy them. Hopefully Miyazuki's countermeasures are working. Otherwise we might have a few more unexpected guests showing up. Alright, you get the defences up. I'll bring the flying peeping toms down. Okay, so we've got... Ah, now... Okay, Charlotte's unavailable for this one, so we have to... Move her and put him in. So he's got to rebuild. Put a new copy of a target allied unit with wall in play. Ooh! That's very useful. Reinforced wall. Enemies must... Okay, that's basically just a regular wall, but tougher, which is fine. So I can put a couple of reinforced walls in. And... And a rebuild, I think. I think that's everything I can... Yep, because I'm still limited to 20 cards for this one. That is unhelpful. Okay, let's at least get a bat to run up. There's quite a few of them, but they're not massively dangerous. Okay, that's... Dang it, I thought that said it was going to be good for one credit. Mario's rebuild action card can come in handy this battle. It'll summon a copy of any wall unit. Yep. They deploy an infantryman. Target that thing. Just lost my drone, which is annoying. Alright, you. You have an attack of three. But you're going down. Okay, I want you to kill that one. He was going down that turn no matter what happened. But I can now deploy a yeah, flamethrower turret. Some of them will have to attack it. Not bad at all. Right, get the sharpshooter up. So the beginning of any turn. Yes! I was hoping you'd do that. Okay. So we need to get flamethrower turret up. Don't quite have enough personnel for infantry, but that's okay. Okay, now, who's more... Regular infantry is more useful here. Purely do I want to reveal my sniper? <sighs> yes, I do, because I want that thing dead. Deploy a battle drone. Okay, go. Okay, you target that. Target that. Bring in the marksman team. I bring in a reinforced wall. And the turn. So it's the flying drones that are the problem. Fly take cover to the infantrymen. So, infantrymen. Actually, no. Yeah, because both of those have to attack either the wall or the turret, which will you know, either stand up to it or it'll kill them. Get another turret up. Strike there. And he's running out of cards as well. Which is fine. So yeah, they're continuing to attack my wall. Sharpshooter up. Okay, we're doing pretty well. Everyone with a shot, take it. 
fire, and fire. Excellent. Well done. When we get some free time, the civil engineers need to put some charges in their building codes. <sighs> Whoever thought something would need to be giant monster certified. At least it guarantees we have the strongest buildings of any colony. <laughs> Hell, in the Empire. Scene 7. One month later. The above cards have been added to your deck builder screen. Good lord, that's a lot of cards. Clear version. Target unit has its attack reset with starting value and loses double attack and force shield. Mind controlled elk. <laughs> Any unit without wall of flying. Okay. Alien scavenger. They're actually useful. Okay, so given that I've been using uh, one for Xavier. Recruiter. Gain one population resource at the start of the owner's turn. Potentially useful. It's one that Charlotte... Yeah, so emergency and recruiter are ones that Charlotte have. For two random bronze grades, common or uncommon units with infantry into play. Ooh! Only bronze grade, though, so... Does that card upgrade, I wonder? Apex Round Berserker. It's Kristoff. Mario has a Demolition Squad. Samuel has a Doctor. Okay, so we've got a few uh, a few promising cards there. Team Talk is now enabled. You can now talk with the other characters to get to know them better and possibly unlock the romance later in the game. You can find the right Team Talk menu in the option to the right. Okay, first I'm going to... Alright, so... Um, take you out. You have been pretty good overall, so let's put the Spiked Iron Vines back in. Recruiter is potentially useful. The emergency could be handy. I said, does emergency... No, it doesn't. Hmm. Be useful if it did. Right, I can stick some wall cards in, and some scout cards. I'm not a massive fan of scout cards, but I'll take what I can get. And a take cover. I think I'm going to take emergency out and put an additional take cover in. Okay. That seems like a reasonable thing. So, team talk. Bloody hell, we can just talk to basically everybody. Well, let's start by talking. Should we work our way along? Talk to Alex. As you enter the lounge, you see Alex is in deep conversation with Jelena and Rigel. In her animated tones, you can tell they're talking about some of their worst deployments, and the people who made it doubly so. So, Alex, how are you fitting in? Hope the others aren't giving you too tough a time. Oh, it's not going too badly. I can tell they aren't used to having two captains. <laughs> Hell, I'm still getting used to it. You and me both. I still wonder if it was some mistake with High Command, or if someone else just happened to decide to, to have a little fun. And ultimately, it won't matter. You know they're going to cover your ass with enough paperwork it would take a board of inquiry to find the truth. At least it's useful for whipping up their own shit. In the corner of your eye, you see the feline shape creeping from Alex's room. It's dreamy, and he has something gently nestled in his mouth. Aww. What do you have there? Alex bends over to take a closer look, and Remy pulls away, his tentacles blocking your brother's hands. Hey, that's mine! Come back here with that! Rimi tears off at full speed, and you get a glimpse of what he's holding. A rather threadbare figure, with an elephant's trunk. If I haven't seen her, I wouldn't believe it. Did Rimi just run off with a stuffed elephant dressed as a firefighter? What's even more astounding is that it belonged to Captain Alex. Tell him he's surprised as well. I didn't think he'd have that after all this time. Obviously, it must hold sentimental value to the captain if he's risking permanent injury trying to get it back from Rimi. Maybe it came from an old girlfriend. Oh, does Mira know? She's rather possessive of him. Oh, if Mira wants to get in a fight over it, she can come to me. Don't think there's any chance of that happening. There's a few, only a few want to tangle with you, Captain. I don't know, I wouldn't mind giving it a go. Set a time and I'm there. We could have Samuel officiate, but... Yeah, Mr. Snuffles. Mr. Snuffles? The elephant. Back when my parents were together and we went to the carnival. Alex always loved the carnival. Unfortunately, I've got to end this part here, but uh, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next.